What's up guys, Skitter Rampage here. So this is episode two's review. Let's do it. All right guys, if you're a big My Hero Academia fan, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. I got tons of My Hero Academia popped. A big fan of the anime so far. So let's get into this review. All right guys, so episode two was actually much better than the first one. Um, still not crazy action pack, but a lot happened. So there will be spoilers if you guys want to click off now. So it starts out with Deku wanting to get stronger faster. So he calls up Gran Torino and he's like, hey man, I want to get stronger. And Gran Torino is basically just like, hey, Stop bothering me, pretty much. He's like, uh, All Might should introduce you to his sidekick, uh, Sir Night Eye, which, I, that's such a weird name, but I guess with his intense stare, I guess it works. Uh, anyways, I guess he's like very intense and he's very strict, so, um, and then later on, I guess when you first, Deku first meets him, he has to make him laugh, but we'll get into that. It's just kind of funny. So it starts out with Deku wanting to get stronger, so he reaches out to Gran Torino and he's like, hey, I want to get stronger. Gran Torino's like, hey, leave me alone. Go to All Might and let him introduce you to other people. So basically he says, oh, all, he can uh, introduce you to his sidekick, uh, Sir Night Eye. Then it goes over to, you know, all the villains. You got Tomura, um, you got Toga. I can't really remember the other one's names, but there's a bunch. And they meet up with Overall, which his name is Kai, I believe. So Overall is his quirk, and which his quirk is um, he can touch people and basically make them explode. So he can destroy and recreate things at will. And I think that's super cool. Like, when he when he went in there, he, he basically walked in there and was like, yeah, I'm the boss now, pretty much. He's like, you guys need a leader. I'm not here to join. I'm here to lead. And honestly, with a quirk like that, that's crazy. That's like a phenomenal quirk because he, when that guy tried to run up to him, he did, he couldn't do anything. All he did was touch him and move up on his skin. And he was just destroyed his whole upper body. I, I was not expecting that. That caught me so off guard. It was crazy. I was just like, what just happened? He just destroyed that guy with such ease. Just a touch destroyed him. So, and then, you know, Tomura and him were about to go at it. And then he knew when Tomura saw the, uh, like, needle or trank dart or whatever that was when he had one of his snipers out there. Like, I guess Tomura dodged it. He knew. He was like, oh, I can't mess with this guy. Uh, he's, like, the real deal. So he... He said, oh, someone jump in front of me. And then Tomer like disintegrated the guy just, and I believe his quirk is, uh, I, I forget it, but it basically, it's decay, I think. It, or it's something, or it's like a, or it's like a synonym to decay. Anyways, though, they were about to go head to head. And basically their quirk is kind of one of the same. I mean, technically Tomura can't destroy things or not destroy, create things, but he can destroy things and decay them. So he decayed that dude like he was nothing, like he was a piece of paper. And then, you know, this guy's quirk overhaul, it's just, it's insane. So they're like the perfect matchup for each other. It's kind of like Kirishima and that other dude in the uh, big tournament. Anyways, you know, both sides lost people. So they're like, they call it at a standstill now, but Tomura, he's not giving up. Like, Shigaraki, he's just ready. He's like, I'm going to kill this guy. He's like, I'm going to kill this guy. So someone, one of my subscribers actually messaged me. He was like, oh, I hope that new pop that's coming out, which ended up being, um, I think, Mount Lady, I believe. Oh, no, no. It ended up being um, May. Um, he was like, oh, I want it to be Overhaul. And I was like, who is Overhaul? I was like, I have no idea who this guy is. Well, they finally introduced him, and he's awesome. I can't wait to see if Tomura just lets him lead for a little bit and then kills him later, or I don't know, because he obviously has some sort of plan that I can't wait to see unfold. So I guess we're going to have to wait on that. Like, this, I, 20 minutes is not enough for an episode, man. So it moves on to Deku going up to all my, Well, so it moves on to them in class saying uh, basically that so it moves on to Deku going to All Might and being like, hey, I want to get stronger. Can you introduce me to your sidekick, Sir Night Eyes? And All Might's like, I don't really want to introduce you to him. Because, like, I, I I don't know. I guess maybe they ended on bad terms. Or he All Might said that he, Sir Night Eyes said that All Might would end up like this and maybe lose his power like this. So maybe he knows about All Might's power. I'm not really sure. But All Might just seemed so so against the meeting him so it was like really weird i'm not really sure what's going on there i I'm, I'm hoping that we learn more about their backstory and what happened with them but basically he calls up mirio and he's like oh mirio can introduce you to him so and then it, it was weird seeing them side by side because i felt kind of bad for mirio because all might was thinking in his head he was like if i had not met deku this would have been my successor. But then again, would Mirio actually had been given All Might took so long He was, because he was talking to the principal in a flashback. He's like, oh, this guy could be your su successor. Me the principal's like, oh, he has all of the same qualities and traits as you, always smiling, always giving his all and never giving up. But, you know, there, then there's Deku who 
without a quirk still ran into battle even though it might have killed him so it, it was a tough decision i felt like all might had to do but i feel like he chose the better option just because mirio is powerful even without all might's power still though it, it sucks to see that mirio he's such a great guy great character it kind of sucks that he missed being all might's successor right there he was so close and then deku came around so deku and mirio head up to sir night eye's office for deku to meet him and he's basically like Oh, you have to make him laugh for him to like you pretty much. And it cuts over to him and his assistant talking. And then when Deku barges in the room, he sees his assistant tickling or him tickling his assistant on this contraption. It's really weird. It's like any out of any ecchi or harem anime you'd ever seen that it's something weird that you walk into always. Deku's just like, what is happening here? This is crazy. And then uh, he explains, he's like, oh, she didn't make him laugh. So basically Deku he does his best impersonation of All Might like he's been practicing all all these years since he was a little kid and then basically it ends on um Sir Night Eyes being like are you trying to impersonate All Might the greatest hero or whatever he called him and I was just like I don't know if he's gonna laugh if they're building up suspense and he's gonna or he's gonna hate Deku all of a sudden I'm not really sure why they oh I know why they ended it on that on that cliffhanger because it's just awesome so i'm super excited for episode three i cannot wait but i want to know you guys' thoughts this this was a crazy episode so it basically it it made us feel bad for mirio because he he's not all Might's successor and we got to know if sir night eyes is going to be willing to train deku as well as what's going to happen with tomura and overhaul i don't remember his name like what's going to happen there because the that's crazy. They're they're the perfect matchup and they hate each other already and they just met. So, but overall seems to be really willing to, you know, at least as long as he leads, he doesn't want any bloodshed among them and he seems like he has a really good plan if he's that confident. So, I guess we're going to see what's going on there. Anyway, guys, tell me down below what are your thoughts on this episode? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Are you guys excited for episode 3? I can't wait. Like the video if you guys enjoyed this and I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next review. See you guys later. Bye.